In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Cave Horror Project in Minecraft. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser and go to the official curseforge.com website. Then you should be presented with a page that looks like this. All you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on this button that says download standalone. And essentially, we need to download the curseforge application so that we can go ahead and download the Cave Horror Project. So as you can tell, we now have curseforge over here and all I'm going to be doing is just dragging it out to my desktop just to make things a bit easier and then the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and just double click on it you should also be able to find this in your downloads folder as well but once you're done with that it will present you with a screen that looks like this and all you want to do is select on what language you are most comfortable with then you want to go ahead and press on next it will tell you exactly where it will install the Curtis Forge app and then all you want to do is press on this button that says I accept the terms and service go ahead and press on next and now it is going to begin installing the Curtis Forge application okay when you load it to the application the first thing it is going to do it is going to present you with a bunch of games that you guys could utilize but for this video all you want to do is go ahead and select on minecraft and as you're able to tell i already did use curse forge before to download a bunch of mod packs so that's how you know that it actually does work but anyways guys all you want to do is you want to go over here to the search bar and then look up cave horror project like so and then you should be able to find it yep it is right here it is called cave horror project chp1 and this is perfect especially now in the halloween season to play like some type of spooky add-on but um all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on this button that says install and now it will begin installing the cave horror project now i will warn you guys since mod packs include a lot of different mods they might take a while to download and they do kind of take up a lot of space on your device so make sure to be aware of that but i'm going to be right back to you guys once it's finished downloading okay once you're done with that you will now notice that there will be a button that says play but before you go ahead and press that what we need to do is we need to allocate more ram to our game and the reason that is is because it will automatically put your ram at like a low amount and at that point like your game might crash or something like that so all you want to do is go to the left menu and select on the gear icon right over here then go ahead and press on game specific and select on minecraft once you're over here, all you want to do is scroll down until you get to this settings right over here where it says Java settings and then allocated memory. And basically you want to turn it up over here. So I'm going to be utilizing eight gigabytes of RAM for this. Um, at default, it might set you at like four gigabytes of RAM, but all you want to do is just change it up uh, like legit to the maximum possible so that you're able to get the best performance. Okay, so once you allocated more RAM, then all you want to do is you want to go back and then you want to go ahead and press on play. And then it is going to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, if it's your first time ever utilizing Curse Forge, then it might need you to sign into your Microsoft account. So obviously go ahead and do that. But since I used it before, it is not going to ask me to do that. And basically it should automatically select your game to Cave Horror Project and it will be right over here. And then all you want to do is go ahead and press on play and then press on this box that says I understand and go ahead and press on play again. It will now begin installing the Cave Horror Project to Minecraft. Okay, now sometimes the Minecraft launcher might just disappear like that as it is downloading, but do not worry, that is perfectly normal. Just please be patient because it will 100% be worth it. So if it like disappears for a little bit, for like a couple minutes or even like 10 minutes, do not worry, that normally does happen. You should not worry at all. Okay, and now it is now going to load in Minecraft. As you're able to tell, we got Forge right over here and now it is loading in all of our different mods together. So yeah, like I said, these mod packs are just absolutely massive guys and um they do include a lot of like features and stuff like that so uh, it might take a while but like i said it will be worth it and just like that guys we have now loaded into the cave horror project and guys i am so excited this is perfect for halloween so all you want to do is go ahead and play solo and you know what let's go ahead and create a world real quick and see what this is all about all right guys here we are in the world and oh my goodness guys everything just looks so like eerie and scary you know um this would honestly make like the perfect survival challenge especially for october in halloween so i highly recommend you guys to actually go ahead and install this mod pack if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 300,000 subscribers see you later french fries